For years, migrant workers in Beijing have had little choice but to send their youngsters to technically illegal schools. Now, city officials are cracking down on these schools with an eye to encouraging a reverse migration back to the farms. Celia Hatton has more. Beijing's Yu Hong School is noisy and overcrowded. But students like five-year-old Tsai Li feel lucky to be here. This is one of the few schools in the capital to accept the children of migrant workers. China has a floating population of 230 million migrants, people who've left their impoverished villages to find jobs in the big cities. But Chinese regulations discriminate against this group, ruling that all Chinese citizens can only access state services like primary education and medical care in their hometowns. To skirt the rules, migrant parents pay $100 a semester, almost all of their earnings, so families can stay together and their children can attend private makeshift schools in the city. A lot of kindergartens and primary schools have been shut down, says Principal Li Yang, so those kids have nowhere to go. The Beijing government demolished 30 migrant schools this summer, saying the buildings were unsafe. But few believe that's the only reason, suspecting city officials want to force migrant families to leave the congested capital. Not long ago, this empty lot housed a migrant school. 1,400 students packed the classrooms here every semester for 12 years. But the local government was in such a hurry to close down the school that it took just five hours for demolition crews to reduce the building to this. China's leaders are now facing mounting pressure to treat migrants the same as city dwellers, so no family will have to choose between economic survival and an education for their children. As Tai's mother, Tui Fengmei, explains, we want our children to wear warm clothes, eat well, and develop their future here. We'll never catch up with others in Beijing, but it's a better life than in our hometown. For now, the Tsai family spends all they make on their children's tuition, an investment they think is worth it, while their school is still standing. Celia Hatton, CBS News, Beijing.